Hi everyone. This is an introduction to geometric series. So a series is a sum of a sequence. And in each of these examples, the underlying sequence is a geometric sequence, which makes these geometric series. So recall that a geometric sequence is one in which from term to term you multiply by a common ratio. So here we multiply by 2 to get from 1 to 2, from 2 to 4, 4 to 8, 8 to 16. Here we're multiplying by a third to get from term to term. And so each of these series is a geometric series. It's a sum of a geometric sequence. Now when we encounter a geometric series, generally the things we want to know about the series are, of course, its common ratio. So for here, uh, this example, the common ratio is 2. And we also want to know the first term. So the first term here is 1, and then the common ratio is 2. Sometimes we write the first term as a sub 1, sometimes we just write it as a. Uh, in this example, the first term is a third, and the common ratio is also a third. Uh, this is maybe a little less obviously a geometric series, but the first term is 1, and the common ratio is 1 tenth, which we could also write as 0 0.1. We multiply by 1 tenth to get from term to term here. And then in this final example, we see that the first term is 10, and the common ratio is negative 1 half. So the common ratio can be negative, and when it is, that produces an interesting alternation in the geometric series. Notice that where the terms go from positive to negative to positive to negative. Uh, that alternation has a lot of interesting consequences, which we will explore a little bit later. Um, I'll add one more geometric series here, one of the most famous ones. This is uh, 1 half plus a fourth plus an eighth, and we'll just stop at uh, 1 over 1024. Here the first term of course is a half, and the common ratio is also 1 half. Now series are sums, and we're interested in computing sums. We could do that manually in each case, we just add these terms up, uh, but there is a really beautiful way to develop a closed form formula for the sum of geometric series. And so let's take a look at that. So here we have essentially every finite geometric series. We start at a, we multiply by the common ratio to get the next term, multiply by the common ratio again to get the next term, and so on, all the way out to this final term in the series a times r to the n minus 1. Notice that this series has 10 terms in it, the nine terms with uh, the r's, and then of course the first term uh, where r is raised to the zero power essentially. But there are n terms here, and so we're going to call this s sub n for the sum of the first n terms. And we're going to come up with a, a beautiful formula for s sub n, a closed form formula that doesn't involve any ellipses like this. The trick is the so-called shifting and subtracting technique. So we are going to do something clever. We're going to multiply this entire formula by r. Now on this side, that gives us r times s sub n. On this side, we're going to multiply term by term. a times r is a r, but instead of writing it here, we're just going to slide it over here. We're going to multiply this term by r, that'll give us a r squared, and we're just going to shift that over here. This will give us a r cubed, and so on. So in each case, multiplication by r shifts these terms over. Now here, this term will get shifted over to a r to the n. But there will still be an a r to the n minus 1 here. Oh, sorry, that's a minus. Because there was an a r to the n minus 2 right there that would have gotten shifted over. So this is the shifting part, the multiplication by r. As you might expect, here comes the subtracting part. When we subtract, on this side we get s sub n minus r times s sub n. On this side, what do we get? Well, we get a, but now a r minus a r is 0. a r squared minus a r squared is 0. a r cubed minus a r cubed is 0, and so on. Everything will cancel out until we reach the end, and at the end, we'll just have minus a r to the n. So our formula is s sub n minus r times s sub n is equal to a minus a times r to the n. 
do a little bit of factoring. We'll take out the S sub n here and get 1 minus r. We'll take out an a here and get 1 minus r to the n. And then we divide. And here is the closed formula for S sub n. a times 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. Sometimes people like to write this this way by turning these both around, multiplying by negative 1, top and bottom, but uh, I'll probably write it more like this. So this is quite a lovely formula for the sum of a geometric series. So we can go back here and look at some of these series. So uh, in this case, um, we have five terms. So n is 5. And so s sub 5 should be the first term times 1 minus the common ratio to n over 1 minus the common ratio. Of course, that's negative 31 over negative 1, which is 31, just as you would expect when you add these all up. Uh, in the bottom here, let's look at this one. Here, n is, how many terms do we have here? We have 10 terms, right? Uh, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3, all the way up to 2 to the 10, so there are 10 terms. So this is the sum of the first 10 terms. The first term is a half. This is 1 minus the common ratio, 1 half to the 10th, over 1 minus the common ratio. Notice this is a half and this is a half, so this is just 1 minus 1 over 2 to the 10th, which is 1,023 over 1,024, which is very close to 1 which you could tell by looking at this, and in fact, this is probably a preferable form of that number, as we'll see a little bit later. So this is a introduction to this really beautiful formula for the sum of a geometric series. One thing I would encourage you to look at is this quantity right here, r to the n minus 1 over r minus 1. You can evaluate this using polynomial long division. And I encourage you to do so because the result is quite stunning.